A lot of doctors now worry that diseases like fibromyalgia, MS, and chronic fatigue syndrome are actually a symptom of a common infectious disease. KOMU8's Chance Seals is here with your health report. Parkinson's, MS, fibromyalgia, these are all common diseases, but what causes them? Some say it's Lyme disease. Most doctors treat the disease with a brief, brief course of antibiotics, but some patients say that approach ignores the chronic, long-term problems that end up misdiagnosed. Laura Stevens lives in the wilderness, but is scared of ticks. That's because she claims both she and her son have chronic Lyme disease. That's an illness caused by a spiral-shaped bacteria that burrows inside the body and brain. Some doctors are skeptical a chronic condition actually exists, but Steven says it's all too real. I can tell you that my symptoms are not made up. It's quite painful. You know, pain and fatigue are the two most prevalent. Not everyone understands Lyme disease, even researchers. That's because it doesn't leave behind the telltale biological signs like most diseases. I don't think there's any evidence that, that Lyme disease is... is has been misdiagnosed as, as MS or a chronic fatigue syndrome. The other side of the coin is you would have to think that people that don't live in Lyme endemic areas also develop chronic fatigue syndrome, MS. Doctors found more than 500 new cases of Lyme disease last week, but the CDC says many more people miss the classic bullseye rash that pin-sized ticks leave behind. Stevens went through 40 doctors and more than $50,000 to get her son diagnosed and hopes others will be on the lookout for Lyme-related illnesses. It, it just plays havoc with your body. Um, it can be diagnosed as any neurological disease. Stephen says the Infectious Diseases Society of America is meeting this week about whether to recognize chronic Lyme disease as a diagnosis. She says that move would dramatically increase the number of insurance companies that cover the disease. Angie, back to you.